All right, here's the boat. I'm gonna show my setup for waterfowl hunting on the river, on a river float. Got my anchor wizard mount on the front, extra length in my rope on my handle so I could get around my anchor. Five pound mushroom anchor. I don't like grapple angles in the river. All right, foot pedals. Do you like the foot pedals? Got a paddle leash. If it's getting rough or the water's rough, um, there's a chance I might flip or lose my balance or something like that. If it's windy even, the wind can blow the paddle out of your lap. I'll uh, hook the, the leash up. I think the school of thought on that typically is, you know, you can lose your paddle, so you use a paddle leash so it doesn't drift away if you fall out of the boat. Flip side of that is, you know, potentially get tangled up in this thing and it drowns you. I think that's a one in a billion chance, though, because your paddle is typically going to be buoyant and you should have a life vest on. So, so you're going to float. So I've actually flipped while using this in the river before and I even got it on video. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, but um, and it was just real easy to just slide right out of it. It was no problem at all. So anyway, that's my leash. Got that on Amazon. And if anyone wants a link to that, I'll shoot the length. But you got to make sure you got a good the paddle, le paddle leash is of sufficient length because if it's too short, it sucks. And then if it's too long, you got too much slack. So uh, I think this one's four feet and then it stretches out to probably a good five feet at least maybe even six all right uh my seat is just the pinnacle 360 so it's the older model new canoe seat it's on an aftermarket base from aquaterra sports they've got a website something like aquaterrasports.com or something like that you can google it fortunately he does not make this base anymore so uh which is a shame because it's nice it's fixed height my seat is 11 inches from the deck on that with the 360 swivel that adds a little bit of height on it. So basically the seat part, 11 inches off the deck. All right. Paddle holder. Um, this is my, I take, try to take everything out. Normally my fishing setup is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have a little bit more gear in it. Uh, I do have the transom mount, but that's for a power pole. I have used that on a hunt, but I don't really like it because it hangs overhanging trees and you have to get next to the bank. This is my camera mount. This is a ram mount on a ball. And originally I had it on the factory OEM tracks, which are kind of like a plastic composite. And there was a lot of wobble in this arm. And uh, which I think there's a lot, there's wobble with all camera arms. But uh, what I did is I put, I bought these aluminum tracks and uh, that improved it a little bit also helps that I use a uh, GoPro 7 black with the hyper smooth on it and the hyper smooth makes a huge difference with the uh, video footage so this side that's my anchor wizard I really do like the anchor wizard a lot it runs up to my anchor and this is my shotgun leash. This is from Rogue Fishing Company. That's what it's called. Rogue Fishing Company. And I believe their website is roguefishing.co. But in this, I've, I've tried um, the typical paddle leashes. I've tried a paddle leash. I've tried other kayak type leashes. This is by far the... I mean, if you, if you want to leash your gun and use it in the kayak, man, this is the way to go right here. Uh, it, it, it's got the perfect amount of tension on it, so it doesn't feel like it's pulling the shotgun out of your your hands when you're shooting. Um, but it recoils nicely. You can see when you stretch it out, it's going to recoil to itself real nicely. Um, mine, I got the the sling adapter. Um, because I like to take my sling on and off my gun depending on the situation so I can just I can just clip that right into the gun and if I need to quickly get out I mean it's got a but it's got this like uh, buckle 
quick buckle release thing, which I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Oh, I can do it one-handed. Nice. So if I need to hop out of the boat real quick, whoop, then hop back in, snap it back together. Typically what I do though is I jump out of the boat and uh, I have time enough to undo the leash, put the sling on the gun, because I like to have the sling if I'm out usually, and roll on. Uh, these are my gun holders. And they came from New Canoe. I ordered them from newcanoe.com. They're nice. And you can, they hold the shotgun real well, and, and it still comes out of there pretty pretty easily. Of course, I mounted on my right-hand side because I'm a right-handed shooter. And I think that's about, about it, man. I don't know what else to go over on the waterfowl setup. If I had to come up with a tip, my tip would be you got to get comfortable with the paddle and you got to be able to paddle most of the time until the last minute for passing shots because you got to just you got to keep that boat pointed in the right position to get the shot. I mean, obviously, I'm not the best if you watch my videos, but um, that, that would be my one tip. Um, everything else, man, is pretty much just kind of common sense. You got to just get your own kind of feel to it all i reckon anyway i hope that helps take care